Hello everyone, welcome to TechScale. So in this video, we are going to do a detailed review and analysis of the new chat features in the Google messaging app. That is this, this app from Google. And if you have enabled chat features in your phone and then maybe you can skip this video or if you don't know about all the features of this app, stay here. And I'm first of all, I'm going to tell you how you can enable this in your phone and all about this app. So if you like my video, if you found it helpful after watching, do subscribe to the channel and definitely watch the video to the full so that you get all what I'm trying to tell you. Right. So let's start with the video. So I'm having this another phone with me. Uh, the chat features are already enabled in this phone, as you can see. In, in the general settings, as you can see, the chat features are already connected over here, right? You can read here, the chat features are already connected, right? Similarly, in this phone, if I show you, chat features are not enabled yet. For example, if I go to settings, if I go to general mode, and if, if I go to here, you can see it says verify your number, right? So let's uh, do that process first. And after that, let's uh, explore all the features and stuff that you can do in this, in this uh, application and how this works. This is this video is going to be super awesome so stay tuned till the end right so let's keep this this phone aside for a while and number one thing you click on this uh, as soon as you click on this three dots you will uh, let's do it again so we click on three dots we go to settings now we go to general mode now we click on chat features right after you click on chat features you will see here verify your number so as soon as you click on this you either you input your number here there will be a column that will be visible here and after this you click on this verify button right so this will take some time to verify your number and make sure that the number that you are punching in here that is the number that you entered on the text box that sim should be in your phone that's a very important thing you cannot you know there is no otp verification or nothing this is a carrier verification that google is gonna do uh, from their side it, it it will be from the server side so don't don't put any other number that if that sim is not in your phone this feature will only work with the sim that is in your phone so it will take around about five minutes and after this your number will get verified so as you can see now chat features are enabled in your phone so it took around about five minutes to get it verified after doing that you have to turn on these two options number one is send read receipts as well as show typing indicator and just in case if you read a little bit uh, uh, to the this this line it says you can receive data up to 105 mbs that means either you can send a picture or a video or a file that is up to 105 mbs of size so you can easily easily share it with this this particular application right so i'll now uh, now let me bring my other phone and let's test the features all on that are here in this app so this is my other phone and now as as you will see now i'll start typing here so right yo hey as soon as i click on send just like simple other text messages you will see it is also getting received here right so the, the number one thing let, let's test it out right so i'll just keep the stand a little bit here so now you can send pictures from this as well right so let me click a picture here this is this picture is clicked and now if i click on attach this will get attached if i can even you know add some text like yo whatever and you will see that there is a small little typing button over here see this this is from the this this particular for example this as, as soon as i start typing here you will see a typing indicator here same is the case when i start typing here you will see a typing indicator here as well so this this app just works like the i messaging app from from apple that means you have native access to chat applications in the like in in the native messaging app you have all the features of a chat application just like this right you can receive all other messages as well as you just as you see in Facebook Messenger or WhatsApp, as soon as you start typing, the other person gets a notification that the other person has started typing. And same, if I do here, this will get the notification. As soon as I hit on enter, the message will receive here. And there is a good thing. We do get automatic suggestions as well. For example, ha ha ha, I sent it, I'll receive it. And now I can even react on this picture, on, on this, this uh, what do we call message. For example, this is the message. I'll click a long tap on this see uh, i'll just go back and i'll again show you i'll long tap on this this message and as soon as i release it there will be a what do we call it reaction over here when i click on this a reaction will be added to as soon as i click on this 
the reaction will be added here see this is the reaction that we are getting here so this is how this whole thing is working obviously we have video call supports via google duo and apart from this if i go to the again this we can share a contact we can attach a file you can even send a location for example i'll click on this location and next and i will simply tap this and i'll send this right so this location is sent to the other person just like just a second yeah as you can see even the location is sent here so if i click on the load preview you will even see the preview of of this this notification right so i'll just simply uh, place it here so that that's how all of th these things are working in this application see like you don't after this like if if this becomes reality to all the chat applications around the world and you know you can easily replace it via your for example otherwise you have to go to you know to to a chat application like messenger or whatsapp or something but now you have access to do all those things in your native chat application so now i have even showed you the features of this application and all other stuff apart from this you can even share videos via this application for example if i click on this if i go to attach file and i have already a video in the camera folder so i'll click on this and i'll tap on send as soon as this video gets processed this will be sent via your regular messaging app and it one of the awesome things that you have heard so that's how this whole thing is working and obviously you have live photos you can even share pictures from the gallery and stuff so you know, a lot of things are going in this application and you literally for example you can even doodle on this i'll just click a picture i tap on this like I don't know, yo or hey or whatever you want to write you have a lot of options going on here you can you know select any color or say something or you know whatever you want to express so you can do all those things in this app in build so i'll click on finished as soon and you can even type for example hey yo how are you so as soon as I type on this, I'll, I can even click on finish and now attach to it. When I attach it, this will be sent. And as you can see, the video that I sent from this phone, it have it has been received here. And as soon as I click on this, first of all, it will get downloaded, right? It's getting downloaded. And after that, I can just play it like any other video in my phone only. So the, everything that is happening here, it's being done via messages app. Like nothing else is you getting used. You can either use your Wi-Fi for that or even if as soon as uh, you can see, I'm not using Wi-Fi here. So I'm regularly using my uh, mobile, Atel mobile data. And in this phone, I am using Wi-Fi as you can see, Atel 5G. I am using Wi-Fi in this phone and mobile data in this phone. So it works seamlessly for both the devices whether you are on wi-fi or on like it's it's your choice how you want to use it right apart from this you do have uh you know access to message organization if you want to you know access your messages for example if you want to access your postal messages here transactions here otps here so you have all those options in built here so you can obviously check check this Apart from this, let's see what else do we have here. So obviously message organization we have like already talked about. Apart from this, you can even, you know, automatic previews of web links. For example, someone sends you a link and you don't know what it is. So if you turn this feature on, it will automatically download that, that web links image and show it on your, uh, what do we call it on your, on, on, on the chat window, right? So it's a safe way of checking whether uh, the link is safe or it is malicious if it's malicious google will just not show you the uh, the preview of this link as you can see it it automatically says google scan selected links right so leave that thing to google and apart from this you do get bubble support for this for example i have uh, like kept it nothing can bubble if i tap on all conversations can bubble and okay i don't know for some strange reason it's asking me for that so where are bubbles here are bubbles all conversation can bubble now and if i like choose my other phone and if i now send a message like yo something as soon as i click on this you will see a bubble notification popping up and you can simply tap on this and in form of bubbles now you can you know chat with the other person and with the all those typing indicators and stuff 
so that's how all this thing is working and you can tap on this and this bubble will stay here you can you know regularly do your work whatever you're doing so this feature was available in telegram initially very very uh, like in, in the very beginning it was in messenger but other apps have not like you know adapted to this this style of notifications and this style of messaging so that's how all this feature is working so that's all for this video if you find this video helpful do subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions how to enable chat features and stuff in your phone do let me know in the comment section i'll be happy to answer all the queries for you bye see you in the next one